It's getting late in the summer here in Cape Cod, but this Harbor Hawks ball club just won't quit. Jumping ahead for good with two down in the seventh inning to take a 4-3 win over the Bourne Braves here in McKeon Park. Hello, everybody. Good evening. I'm Chris Lucy alongside Lyle Goldstein and Robert Marcello. I'm Chris Lucy. Welcome to this edition of Hawk Talk, where the Harbor Hawks were able to come back once again, their second consecutive come from behind victory here on Judy Scarafile Field to take another win from the Bourne Braves, closing out the season series at 5-1, to one, a dominant performance on the whole season for the Harbor Hawks. But Lyle, I'll start with you. Pretty much a dominant performance from the starter today in Zach Cohn. In his second performance against the Braves, he was even better than in his first. Five and a third innings pitched, seven strikeouts. What was enabling him just to spin it so well and confuse the Bourne Braves tonight? I mean, he just had everybody off balance. And outside of Lyle Lynn and Ashton Barzell, he cruised through that lineup. Really, the only blips coming on Lyle Lynn's two-run home run, and then that, I guess that sacrifice fly. But of course, that's still a productive out. But if you're Zach Cohn, five strikeouts in a row to end your night. He got deep in the ball game, like was asked of him after using the bullpen heavily in yesterday's contest. So for Zach Cohn, he did everything his team asked him to do, and he kept him in the ball game. Well, Zach Cohn started this season and played most of the season as a reliever, but a starter in his last couple of games, Robert, and a new addition to the pitching staff, not as a starter, but as a reliever in Casey Queener, also pitched pretty well tonight, the right-hander out of Belmont, a solid couple of innings for the Harbor Hawks. What did you see him do well tonight? I thought he just really commanded his pitches really well. He did a nice job shutting it down in a couple of innings that he did pitch. Did a really nice job. Well, let's see what he thought. He caught up with Danny Terzer after the game. Let's listen into his conversation. I'm here with Casey Queener, who pitched an inning and two thirds tonight, giving up just one hit in his second appearance this summer. Casey, coming in at the end of the season, how do you make sure that each appearance is effective? Uh, yeah, I just try not to worry about anything and just pitch like I always have and not change anything. Your curveball goes 12 to 6. How has that developed over your career? Uh, I learned it when I was probably too young to throw a curveball, and it's always been my best pitch, and I just throw it. How is this league different than the one you came from, the Coastal Plains League? Um, it's a lot different. It's the Cape, which is pretty cool in itself. Uh, the travel's a lot easier, which is really nice. I mean, it's just being here and knowing how good everyone is is a lot of fun. Thanks, Casey. Yep. Thank you so much, Danny. Back here at Judy Scarafile Field with Lyle Goldstein and Robert Marcello. I'm Chris Lucy. 4-3 to three, the final score. The Harbor Hawks taking this one from the Bourne Braves. 5-1 to one, taking the season series. And now, gentlemen, a big two-game stretch to close out the season against the toughest team in Cape Cod, the Yarmouth Dennis Red Sox. They lead the league with 55 points, really head and shoulders above the rest of the Cape. But, Lyle, we've seen it from this team over the last couple of days. They just will not quit be them down, be them out. What is it about this team that's enabled them to, uh, you know, catch fire despite all the roster turnover that they've had over the last couple of days? Well, finding ways to score late in ball games has been huge for them. But then aside from what's on paper, we've talked about it. they really just like playing together and they've got a good team chemistry thing going in the dugout. And that's huge going into the playoffs. You look at Brewster last year, everybody was bought in and they ended up winning the title. So for Hyannis, maybe we're seeing a similar trend set as we head into the playoffs. Robert, two crucial games against the Yarmouth Dennis Red Sox to end the regular season. What is the key for Hyannis to maintain the momentum they've got here from this two-game win streak? Well, they've definitely done a good job in the two games that they've won in a row, and I think they have to continue to that in this two-game sec. A very good measuring stick against really probably the best team in the league right now. Two come-from-behind wins here at Judy Scarafile Field with only two games remaining in the Cape League season. On behalf of my broadcast partners and, of course, Danny Terzer, I'm Chris Lucy. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to follow us on SoundCloud and subscribe to us on YouTube. And we will catch you tomorrow at 4.30 in Yarmouth Dennis for a game against the Red Sox.